Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can chain fetch requests using JavaScript. Um, so basically, uh, by chaining fetch requests, I mean uh, you're going to be calling fetch requests one after another. So let's go inside the text editor real quickly here, and I've got a bit of a setup. So basically, to demonstrate this and actually uh, take you through how to do this, um, we're basically going to be loading a, a, um, a configuration file uh, which is located in json forward slash config.json and from here we're going to grab the theme of the uh, configuration and then uh, that'll be one request and the second request for the chain is going to be inside the themes directory and we have here dark, high contrast and light and basically uh, the theme dark here is going to line up exactly with dark.css so uh, we're going to make uh, we're going to be making two requests here one for the config file and then one for the actual theme so i'm obviously going to chain them nicely together using promises and fetch so let's go ahead now and uh, look at um, just a basic example of how to do this so let's go inside the javascript and uh, firstly just fire off, uh, fire off a fetch request um, for the config.json so I'm going to say fetch here and pass in of course uh, json forward slash config.json and then we can say dot then we're going to have um, the response object so I can say response right here then with the response object we're going to say return response dot json so then we can say dot then and we have the actual data object right here so with that one we're going to simply the console.log the data just for now and if anything went wrong during this whole process we are going to then console.error I'm going to pass in the error right there and that is um, that is a single fetch request so now I'm going to save this and refresh the browser and we have here um, just the actual objects in the console and we can see here we have the theme of dark so let's now go inside uh, go inside here and from here uh, once we have the data we can then fire off a second fetch request so in this case for this example what we can do is we can actually return here and we can return a new fetch request for um, the theme file so I can say return passing or uh, say fetch here and I can say uh, fetch themes forward slash then append I can append data dot theme I believe that's what it's called uh, yep so data dot theme I can say data dot theme then plus dot CSS and then I can say uh, sorry that's all so I'm just basically returning uh, fetch here um, for themes forward slash data dot theme dot CSS and then uh, from here I can put dot then here and that's going to be the then for once um, the fetch request for the themes comes back so once we have the response from here I can say response once again and in this case we're going to uh, once again uh, uh, return we're going to return response.txt because in this case this is not a JSON file these are just CSS files so by saying dot text we're going to extract the text content of the actual uh, response body uh, just like that and then of course uh, what we can do is we can say dot then once again once that comes back and we have the CSS contents uh, in that parameter and uh, basically we then have access to the CSS content so I can say console.log and uh, this will be CSS content so now we are basically fetching the config JSON file we are converting that to JSON once we have the JSON data back we are then uh, making a fetch request to the themes directory forward slash data dot theme so dark um, sorry uh, um, yeah so uh, dark dot CSS and then we're converting this or uh, getting the text from that response and then once we have the response um, text we're then just logging out the actual CSS content so now we should see in the console uh, all of this stuff right here so I can save this and refresh the browser and we now have the contents of the dark.css file and we can see inside the network tab we've made the two fetch requests right there and we can just inspect um, their responses so the config obviously returned all the json and the dark.css obviously returned the css so 
Um, that is an example of how you can go about uh, chaining fetch requests. But what I like to do is I like to actually expand this into separate functions. So basically, we can clean all of this up and make it a bit more modular, a bit more separate and definitely easier to work with and maintain. So let's go uh, above here and let's now define a function for getting the config and a second function for actually getting the theme. So I can say function up here and I call this function get config. This is going to return a promise. So essentially we're sort of emulating um, a fetch request. Well, we are actually making a fetch request in the, in the um, function, but we're going to be returning a promise to make it behave like a promise or fetch request. So I can return here a new instance of promise. And this is basically um, what the fetch request does behind the scenes. So we're going to return a new promise here. We're going to have a uh, resolve and a reject as per usual. And I've got a video on all about making promises if you like, if you like to check that out. Um, but yeah, so uh, resolve and reject right here. Then inside this function, we're going to be firing up the fetch request to the config JSON file. So I can say fetch right here, uh, JSON forward slash config dot JSON. And then once that comes back, um, the nice thing about this is I can actually uh, do the JSON conversion inside the function instead of doing it down here, which makes it a lot cleaner when you're using the actual function. So I can say dot then, I have the response and I can say return response dot JSON. And then once I have um, the JSON contents uh, converted into a uh, JavaScript object, I can say dot then, I have the data and I can simply call the resolve uh, uh, function here and I can pass in the data. Um, and then of course, if anything goes wrong, I can simply get the error and I can reject and pass in the error. So now this is going to work uh, just fine um, in the usage. So essentially, we're going to call get config, we're going to say dot then, and the dot then is going to contain uh, the actual data, and the dot catch is going to contain the error if the error has occurred. So um, I might just define a second one uh, for the get themes. Oh, you know what? Actually, now let's let's get rid of this real quickly, and we're just going to uh, demonstrate the usage of the get config. So I can say get config like this. So get config, and then I can say dot then. Now this is going to contain, as we know, um, the already converted JSON. So I can say dot then, and I can say obj or data like that. And I can say console.log data. If anything goes wrong with that process, I can say error and then console.error the error. So I can save this and refresh the browser. And we have here the configuration in the console. So we can see how we've cleaned up the usage of the of the function and make it and we're sort of making it a bit more separate and easier to work with. Um, so to demonstrate the catch actually working inside um, inside the then I'm just going to throw. So I'll say throw a new error and say custom error. So just basically emulating an error. I can save this and refresh in the console. We get here error at custom error. And just to prove that the catch is working, we're going to console.log decode here save this and refresh and we get decode right there. So we can see that um, the catch is working just fine. So I can just get rid of this and get rid of this. And now we can work on um, the get theme function, which is going to work very similarly. So let's go down here. We can say function get theme. This will take in an actual theme name. So we can say theme name just like that. And similar to the above, we're going to return a new promise. We're going to have the reject, sorry, um, the resolve and the reject just like that as per usual. And then similar story, we're going to fetch. We're going to fetch at themes forward slash plus theme name plus dot CSS. Okay. And then we're going to get the response. Then we are going to handle the conversion to text inside here. So I can say response dot text just like that. And then once we have the CSS contents, we can simply once again uh, resolve and have the CSS contents just like that. And then I can say dot catch 
we can have an error. If that's the case, we can project with the error. So very similar to the above, except this time we're accepting a parameter and also converting to text instead of JSON. And uh, just one more thing with this, um, having it separated is also good because if you want to put more complex things like if you're going to be using fetch options and you're going to be making a post request with credentials and all that stuff, it's going to be a lot easier, a lot neater to have all of it in a separate function. So that's another benefit of having it in a separate function. So now we have this defined, we can easily use these two methods together. So let's go down here. Once we have the data, instead of, you know, logging it out, let's now return get theme. We're going to pass in here data.theme just like last time. So data.theme. Um, and then we can say dot then. And now, of course, um, we have the CSS contents inside here. And once again, we can just console.log the CSS contents. And we can also say console.log uh, theme loaded. So we can see here we're returning um, a promise. We're basically going to run all this stuff right in here and then it's going to work just like a, um, a nice, neat little chain. So now I can save this and refresh the browser and we have our final result. Theme loaded, body, background, hash 33333. In the network tab we can see both of our uh, requests were successful and everything works just fine. And that is how you can chain fetch requests using JavaScript. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.